A lot of clients come into a dermatology appointment with the assumption that at least part of or all of their dog or cat's allergy is related to food. Um, statistically, I have a lot more aller environmentally allergic dogs than only food allergic, but there is some crossover and it gets very confusing and complicated. And then there's also the hard part of, well, I'm feeding X brand of cat food or dog food that says chicken, chicken byproduct, liver and then 40 other ingredients that you have to have a chemistry degree to know how to pronounce. Um, and then you compare it to a whole food or a home food type diet and they do okay. So here's this bag that they may be reacting to that's chicken, um, chicken. and then here's a, a chicken breast that's cooked bland and they have no problem. Uh, so certainly clinically I've had dogs that have done extremely well on a diet trial and then either they ran out of food on the weekend or Mr. remembered rabbit potato, duck potato and it was 8 o'clock on a Saturday, ran to a, a pet food store and bought an over-the-counter rabbit and potato. Unfortunately, there's those 20 or 30 other ingredients and I see the dog two days later with his allergies flaring and, and suffering. And so unfortunately, studies haven't been done down to that level to date that show the third of the 20 chemical or those preservatives or fillers contribute to a food allergy, but certainly there are a handful of cases where you can't argue. This bag of food or this diet compared to this other, and the only difference is maybe the freshness, how it was prepared, if it's fresh out of the oven versus a kibble and formulation in a bag and preserved.